New Zealand's gang culture dates back to the 1950s, but it wasn't until the 1960s that the first notable gangs, the mongrel mob and black power, came to prominence. These gangs initially grew among Māori and Pacific Island migrants who faced socio-economic disparity, systemic racism and abuse in state care. For many, gangs offered a sense of community, identity and family. The 1970s saw an increase in gang violence, drug trafficking and extortion. The government's response back then, new laws to crack down on gangs. In the late 1990s, the gang landscape shifted dramatically with the arrival of methamphetamine in the late 1990s, changing Aotearoa's criminal underworld. Bikey gangs like the Headhunters and Highway 61 led the way in the manufacture and distribution of this lucrative drug. The most significant shake-up to New Zealand's gang scene, however, came with the influx of the 501 deportees. Australia's 2014 policy led to hundreds of New Zealand-born convicts, many with gang ties, being sent back to New Zealand. These deportees sometimes had little connection to New Zealand and lacked a support network. Their arrival led to the establishment of motorcycle clubs such as the Comancheros and Mongols who had genuine links with transnational organised crime groups upsetting local gang hierarchies. The arrival of these new groups introduced a new breed of gangster, kitted out in designer clothes and driving luxury cars, all showcased to the world through social media. The emergence of this new generation has also led to an escalation in drug imports, violence, corruption and turf wars. Currently there are more than 33 active gangs with nearly 9,000 patched or prospective members and their numbers are rising. The mongrel mob and black power remain among the largest. Joining a gang in New Zealand isn't random, but often a result of unique experiences rooted in hardship. Gangs predominantly flourish in impoverished areas. Some groups, including the mongrel mob, have made visible efforts to change their public image by engaging in community work, advocating for social justice and speaking out against the use of meth. However, many gang members continue to engage in organised crime, including drug trafficking, gun crime and brutal violence. A sense of belonging, protection and rebellion against the system all contribute to the appeal of gang life. But there's also a big question about their future. The National-led coalition government is vowing another crackdown with a range of anti-gang laws. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest New Zealand Herald news. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of these videos and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more news worth knowing.